Okay, one, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, welcome to Pro Sessions Aikido. And um, we're going to be starting a series, a new series today called The Elephant in the Room. And uh, I have a great friend who's going to be joining me to go through this on series. His name is Steve Wasserman Sensei. How you doing, buddy? Good, uh, good to be here. And thank you for including me on your first one. So yeah, I've always like been it. an um, I've always been a good experiment. So, <laughs> very good. Okay, so uh, uh, for everybody to know, we had the craziest technical difficulties in the world getting this going, but we finally um, got in harmony with everything, right? A keto harmony, right? We so, blended. Uh, we, we did it, and we're ready to go. So basically, what I mean by uh, dealing with the elephants in the room is there are certain things in Aikido that just kind of get pushed down and we really, really kind of just pretend it's not there. And one of them, what we're starting off with is striking <clears throat> in Aikido. And uh, the very first thing that I wanted to look at is why is it essential to have good strikes when you are attacking? And I'm going to let my buddy go ahead and um, go for it, my friend. Well, why are you even having to ask this question? Well, I think because we, we see at times too weak strikes, much too weak, or an uncommitted strike, uh, poor target acquisition, or again, uncommitted strikes. And the problem with that is, what does this result in? It results in poor training for the uh, nage, weakness of the art. People start seeing that, especially young new students, they're copying you because the, we're the role model. They don't know anything else. All right, they're a blank slate. We're Very good. Creating that, and for example, it gives, and also it's a false sense of protecting self. So, how you train is how you're going to react in the streets. And last is not to put kung fu down or tai chi down. Just to make this clear, is how did tai chi come about? Because it really is a form of kung fu. Was it weakening of their art? So they got passed down to the exercise of tai chi. I don't know. I really don't know, but that's what can happen to Aikido. And we got to be careful of that as instructors, that uh, when we train, we're really training because our roots are as only strong as that tree is going to stand. And that's, yeah. that's a, a great question. Yeah, I agree. Um, and of course, um, where we're looking at this coming from is um, YouTube, right? And being able to see um, not so much, um, Nage performing the technique because there's some really beautiful Aikido out there, some great Aikidoists. But when you're watching the attacker and they're attacking and they're uh, off balance or they're giving this little shomanuchi half hearted attack, um, if they're running, they get thrown, they jump up and they just kind of run into it, barely um, attacking, I think uh, falls right in line to what you're saying. It gives a false sense of uh, uh, security. It doesn't show what I believe the trueness of what the art could be. Um, I do have a couple things I want to go down a little rabbit hole with you. And uh, I didn't tell you about this. So I wanted to get some real uh, feedback on it. And as I dwelt on this really hard, I, I, I came to a conclusion. I'd like to hear what you um, feel about it, my friend. Uh, dealing with striking. Okay, we're just staying in striking. The topic is not... Should, is there striking an Aikido? Should you strike? All of this. That's not the topic. It's about the skill set of striking. Okay. And um, when I was analyzing it, I, I had um, certain people saying things that were pretty good. One is I, I kind of broke it down into three categories. Uh, one is <clears throat> you have the people who come to Aikido that are not into self-defense. You know, they come in, I'm really interested in this energy thing, philosophy, uh, all of those different, we, we could say maybe the spiritual side, the morality, all of that. Then you have another side that um, people come in feeling, well, I think this is a self-defense. I, I want to learn it. I want to be able to get into it. And then, of course, out of that, you get the uh, people who are like, okay, I want to go and show how this can be street applicable, right? No, self-defense, street Aikido. Sometimes it's called or combat Aikido. And I was dwelling upon this. And the one that seemed to be the most difficult would be dealing with those who say, you know, I, I'm not here for self-defense. You know, wh why do I have to strike good? You know, and um, I, I, I'm not going to use this on the street. Well, what do you think about that? Um, I think it's very easy to answer that. Ah, I okay. like it. You're mm -hmm. the sensei. You're the business. Here's what you have to offer. You're going to show what your keto is of 
continuing the tradition of what Aikido really can be. And if you want to do just do key style or touchy touchy, that's great. That's a different dojo, but your dojo is teaching the essence of what Aikido is of, of being a, a good Nagi, being a good Uke. So it's all up to the instructor. Mm -hmm. Now that instructor, he represents what part of Aikido and it's so branched out nowadays that a fresh student's got to be careful where he starts up. And I think that's a legit question. What do they want? And you may not be offering what they want. Just like some people want Pramaga or Jiu Jitsu, you know, I'm a keto. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to teach you the best of my essence uh, what a keto is. Mm -hmm. So it's like shopping. You don't like what you see in the store, go to another store. Yeah, very good. I agree. Um, as I was dwelling on it, tell me what you feel about this. Uh, let's take a look at that part that we're looking at the, uh, you know, the spiritual, the not self-defense area. And I must admit, I really wrestled with that. And I listened to some yeah. really good um, people uh, sharing about that, how that um, a keto, you know, is not self-defense, right? And, you know, let, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that it's not self-defense and that uh, people are that. responding back saying, well, yeah, I don't do a keto for that. And I was like, oh, you know, I really want to see where they're coming from. I want to understand this. And I, I came to the conclusion, and I'd like to hear your comment on it, that I don't think it matters what category you fall into. Uh, one of the main principles of Aikido is energy, right? And uh, when I go to an Aikido class and I'm new and you're my sensei and you line me up with someone and you tell me to go at that person, you don't tell me, okay, deliver a pizza, right? You're not telling me, uh, deliver a book. You're looking at me and saying, you're going to attack and you have specific attacks. Those attacks then are basically energy, right? <clears throat> so if I don't deal with the issue that first that it's an attack, right? I'm just giving energy. Once you get past that, I think, okay, we can go to the next step. And that would be, it's just a skill, right? It, it's all about your commitment to understanding that skill. And if your skill set is you're not studying, your sensei doesn't show you, doesn't enforce the um, area of that, then there's this illusion and the skill set drops down. You, you have to have skill set in the attack and you have to have skill attack in the recipient. It, it goes both ways. Yes, yes. For that person to be able to get that energy, you're attacking me. And if I give you this halfway energy, well, you're being cheated. Yeah, that's not a keto. Your I'm time. supposed to capture that energy. I'm supposed to redirect that energy. And um, it's a skill set. Striking is just a skill. You're a drummer, right? You're able to look at a person on the basics of their knowledge and tell if that person understands, you know, whatever drummers do. I'm not a car guitarist, right? You have people then when you're looking at them, you can see they don't even have the basic skill set. You, you, you see you it right away. Yeah, you don't look at them and go, well, that's okay because you're on the spiritual side of it. But you can go play with, you know, Led Zeppelin. Right? Well, you get, you get the basic musician out there. Everybody will understand this. They can do the basic 2-4 time and mm -hmm. they stay there. Well, let's take the basic 2-4 time with the student who just wants to do minimal self-defense, minimal Aikido. And then you take the ones that are doing all these intergood uh, notes, intergood um, music, mm -hmm. and that's where the skill starts showing and coming in. So Aikido can be very mellow. It can be a hell of a self-defense. And I don't know why we call it Aikido is only um, self-defense. It should be called Aikido is a self-defense, not a martial arts Offense. It should be karate right. offense. Oh, we're punching. No, we're not punching. We're not kicking and all that stuff. We're basically defense. Well, that defense can be pretty darn strong when it's done right. And it's a beautiful, yes. beautiful self-defense. Uh, 